Hello, everybody. I hope you guys are doing all right. I hope you're all staying safe and whatnot and doing the best you can to maintain your health physically and mentally. I would be lying if I said I was perfectly fine. I'm not. I'm physically okay, mentally. I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'll, let's, we'll just put it that way. You know, I'm sure I'm not the only one that suffers from anxiety, stress, and probably panic and panic attacks and whatnot with this whole ordeal going on. But I wanted to try and block that for a little bit. You know, I, I uh, as you guys know, recently Kayla and I were in the Outer Banks in North Carolina. That was three, four weeks ago now. And... We went to the Kmart there, which was closing, and we went to other places as well, which you'll see videos coming out from, and you may have seen, you know, one or so from the border station, but I wanted to try and help you guys take your mind off of what's going on a little bit, I, if it helps you any. And the reason I say that is, like, my friend Nate, that Nate guy on YouTube, He's been uploading videos about his RV, and even when he does his Saturday night movie and, like, a snack thing, even if it's temporary, his videos take my mind off of what's been going on, and I kind of want to do that for you guys as well. So, I want to go back to better times when we were at the Outer Banks. I was trying to do a vlog for the weekends with Wally and Kayla videos, but as you know, I haven't really been doing them lately. I just haven't had the time, and with what's going on now, I'm not going to lie, I just I haven't been able to focus on doing that because I've been panicking a lot. So, But I wanted to uh, do this in a two-part video where I give you guys a little bit of a vlog from the lighthouses that we checked out while we were at the Outer Banks, a Futuro house, and... Uh, couple other little things like the beach and whatnot and kind of ease your mind a little bit give you a little bit of something to enjoy and we got enough footage for about 20 minutes anyway but I'm gonna break it up into two videos so I don't bore you <laughs> so uh, I'll do a two-parter for that but you know to try and reduce the time on each one but anyway um, I'm gonna roll the footage here in a moment uh, you'll see how we explored the lighthouses. I wish I could have went to Cape Lookout, but I just didn't have enough time on this trip because there's five lighthouses on the Outer Banks. Well, six, technically. And uh, <laughs> Cape Lookout is a whole day trip. And the other one, which I completely forgot about while we were there, is the Roanoke Marshes Lighthouse. So, But anyway, without further ado, let's take our mind off of the current situation for a little bit. And if I can help you just escape what's going on and have a little bit of peace. Let me do that, so let's roll the film. Good morning, everybody. From the beaches of the Outer Banks, the place that I plan to call home one day. Just like my friends that live here, I have a friend that lives in Avon, North Carolina. I have a family of friends that live down the road in Nags Head. And a couple others here, one in Wan Cheese here in Kill Devil Hills. And well, my goal is to call this place home one day. It's a little cold right now, it's like 48 degrees. We have a northeasterly wind which is kicking up the ocean pretty good. It's a it's a little bit rough if you look behind me here. It's not too bad, but definitely not swimming weather. <laughs> I'm the only person on the beach that I can see. I think there's one guy way up there, maybe fishing, surf fishing, but that's okay. I don't mind. I love being here. It's great to be back. I haven't been here in a few years with a lot of things going on in life. This just kind of went on the back burner, but this is normally a place I come to every year, every summer, sometimes multiple times a year. And, well, by now you guys know why I'm here. You probably already saw the Kmart video, so if you haven't, go and check that out. The Kill Devil Hills Kmart is closing. The Outer Banks Kmart, one of my favorites that I've been going to every year since 1994. Every time I'd come down to the beach, whether it was with my parents or with a friend or whoever, or even by myself, 
I always made a stop there. Boy, that's salty air from the ocean. I love it. Kayla's in the hotel room, keeping warm right now. Uh, we're getting ready to go out for the day. I just wanted to come out here and check out the beach, show it to you guys real quickly. I found a couple of seashells too. I already put them in my pocket here. You know, a couple little, couple little seashells, little scallop shells and stuff, little clam shell. And I really like this little tiny one here. Hold on, it's really small, but I like the colors on it. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Kayla's never been to the Outer Banks. So I'm happy to bring her here for the first time and what I hope will be many more times and hopefully for good we can ever move here. So I love it. Anyway, let me get my ugly mug off the camera and show you guys the beautiful beaches of the Outer Banks here from right here in Kill Devil Hills. It's overcast. It's the wind's probably blowing at about 20 miles per hour right now, kicking up the ocean. But generally, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's 48 degrees, and I'm standing out here on the beach barefoot. <laughs> I don't care, though. Look at the seagull going. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> but, you know, I wouldn't change it for the world. I love being here. This is our motel that we're staying at, the John Yancey Inn. We're in the nicely renovated building. This one here, they're in the uh, works of renovating. And I gotta tell you, I've never stayed here before. I've always stayed at this place called Oceanside Court down in Nags Head. But wow, we, they renovated that building last year. It is superb for the money that I spent on that. I mean, I am blown away with how nice that hotel is. Absolutely gorgeous out here. I love it, even in an overcast day like this. It's raining off to the south down in Hatteras. But up here, it's just, wow, gorgeous. While on Hatteras Island, if you ever go down towards Frisco, if you go through Hatteras and you're on your way to Frisco, you'll come across this on Highway 12. A Futuro house, or Futuro house. I forget how it's pronounced. I think Futuro. Futuro. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, this is one of those weird homes that was designed in the 60s, I believe it was. And uh, they're around the world, but there aren't a whole lot left. And I think at their peak, there was only... If I had to make an, a guess, I think there were only about 113 or 120 ever made. And the fact of the matter is, there's one here on the Outer Banks. And it's been here forever, obviously. But I don't know if uh, the guy still lives in this place or not. But I remember in the past, he encouraged people taking photos. So it's pretty cool. And not something you see every day. So there's that as we head down uh, to Ocracoke. So, pretty cool. So Kayla and I have made it down to Ocracoke. And while I gotta say, the uh, people here are very resilient. They've really bounced back and they're really strong. And I'm glad to see this community rebuilding. I wanted to stop at the lighthouse too and just check it out and... It's weird. I've been coming here my whole life, and for some reason I always get greeted by the cats from the owners of the lighthouse here in this house behind me. Never fails. I'm here at the lighthouse, and there's one of the infamous lighthouse keeper's cats. Kitty friend. Mm-hmm. This island is known for that, too. They have a lot of cats all over the island. They call them the ochre cats, and they're actually very well taken care of by the community here and the families that live here. But look at that cat friend <laughs> very very sweet kitty <laughs> cat friend hi buddy <laughs> say hi to youtube hi youtube <laughs> such an adorable kitty <laughs> you gonna come home and be friends with larry yeah i think you like being here in the south better i do <laughs> <laughs> 
I'd rather move here. But yeah, I'm literally at the base of the Ocracoke Lighthouse. That door leads us into it, but we cannot climb this. We've never been able to. And you see this on here, 1823. Yes, this lighthouse is 197 years old. And I'll step back so you can see the whole thing, because wait till you see the beautiful shot you get. Okay, so I've stepped back a little bit from the lighthouse so you can see it. I wanted to go back further, but I didn't want to have our buddy get up, because he found a perfect little spot in the sun to hang out, and he's loving it. He's so content. He's happy. <laughs> right in the sun. But yeah, I love it. And I actually took a photo in a por uh, portrait mode, so you can see him in the bottom of the picture. But yeah, this is your Ocracoke Lighthouse, 197 years old this year. I definitely will be here in 2023 to see it for its 200th year. It's incredible. To think this was built back then, and they didn't have cranes, they didn't even have electricity, no modern technology whatsoever. And it's withstood hundreds of hurricanes over all the years, you know, and storms. But glad to see it standing strong, and I'm so glad to see one of the cats here. I was telling Kayla in the car, I'm like, yeah, Ocracoke has a bunch of cats, but the lighthouse keeper themselves actually have a couple of cats. It's so glad to see our buddy out. <laughs> All right, there's another shot of the lighthouse, and I'm trying to get the best shot I can, because the lighthouse just clears the picture, and then you see the kitty in the bottom left-hand corner. <laughs> Very friendly, though, and very beautiful sight here. And I'm just, I'm really amazed at how people were coming back around to rebuild the island after Dorian did what it did. So, grateful for that. That's the light keeper right there, the house. But I vote the kitty as being the official light keeper. <laughs> so, beautiful. Highly recommend you make it down to Ocracoke Island if you ever get to the Outer Banks. Kitty definitely has great customer service skills. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that anyway. I hope that helped a little bit. Stay tuned for part two. That'll be coming up soon. You know, I'm out here on my balcony. It's a little bit chilly out here, but I don't really care. I'm still able to work, thankfully, but I don't know how long or how much I'll be able to because I work in a body shop. And we're considered life-sustaining in Pennsylvania, so I'm thankful for that. It's still hard. I, I still worry, but I know we'll overcome everything. So that's another reason why I wanted to get this video done, well, two-parter, because I kind of want to ease your minds a little bit and help take some of the stress off, even if it's just for 10 minutes. Because, like I said, I know Nate's videos have done that for me. They've taken a lot of stress off for me as well. So, and I messaged Nate. I texted him and told him, you know, how much it means to me that he's uploading videos of the RV. And how it just makes me forget what's going on around us. I still truly think that we'll be out of this sooner rather than later. So, I'm hoping I'm right. And, uh, I'm hoping you're alright. And I, I know all of us will get through it. We will. So, anyway, thanks for watching part one. I'll show you part two of our little trip down there. And I have a lot of other videos from the Outer Banks, which I'll be uploading uh, in the next couple of weeks or so. I got about another handful of videos while we were down there. Um, I did try to enjoy our time while we were there, but I did try to film what I could as well. So, there are a couple other videos coming out for you to enjoy, and I still have a backlog, and I still have mall videos from January that I still haven't uploaded yet, like Chapel Hill Mall, Lycoming Mall, Mill Creek Mall, and Erie. So, <laughs> I got a lot of videos to back me up for a while while we're in this dumbass quarantine bullcrap. Doesn't mean I can't go out and explore, like, the hills and stuff like that and explore around, so that'll be coming soon, too. Maybe just a little trip through the woods. Anyway... Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Stick, we'll stick together. We'll, we'll be all right. No, I love y'all, man. I appreciate it.
you guys supporting me and that's all I can really say everybody so even though it's hard take care stay safe stay awesome I will see you very soon